can you survive a full day on just this. This is one great British pound. As of the time I'm recording this video, it's equivalent to 1.19 US dollars and 1.16 euros. Today, I'm going to attempt to survive on just this single coin. I will attempt to have three meals just from one pound. Here are the rules. I can use any cooking equipment in my kitchen, but I am not allowed to use any of the ingredients from the cupboards. The only other thing I will be allowed to use from my kitchen is water from the tap. I am allowed to use my car to travel, which is not included in the overall cost, and I can use any coupons or deals such as reduced items or club cards. I'm not allowed to have anyone buy or give me food. I'm not allowed to steal. However, I can take any free items, such as samples or free condiments like salt and pepper or whatever else I can get my hands on. Lastly, I will be allowing foraging. Time to go shopping. Just a rather boring but important disclaimer. I'm not the first person to do this. Many people have done this before. I am mainly inspired by Atomic Shrimp's video. I will link that down below if you want to check that out. Secondly, I'm not at all suggesting that this is an alternative to budgeting for money issues. This is a very unhealthy food source, especially to have over a long period of time. If you are struggling to afford food, like many people in the UK right now, there are some links down below to some valuable resources. I am just doing this ridiculous challenge out of pure interest. Okay, now back to the video. I didn't talk whilst I was in the shop because it was really awkward and I do apologise for the camera work, I was trying to be subtle. My first call of action was to go for some bread. It's filling and it's at the core of so many meals. And the worst comes to it, I can just have toast for the whole day. As you can see, most of the bread is out of my price range at about 120% of my whole budget. I did manage to find some crumpets which were 35 pence, however there is less that I can make with them. So I headed towards the reduce section. This bread has either gone stale or it's nearly at its best before date. As I'm thinking of mainly cooking the bread, that didn't really bother me. I actually managed to find a 36 pence bread reduced down to 12p, which was Perfect. When thinking of budgeting, the first thing that comes to a student's mind is noodles. As you can see from my Night in the World War II bunker video. Got some pot noodles. I'm a student, don't judge. I had a little bit of a look around as most of the noodles were too expensive, but I did manage to find some chicken flavored noodles for just 29p. I did have a look at some sardines and fish paste, which I've heard is quite cheap, but as you can see, I couldn't quite stretch that far. With 59p left, I thought it'd be a good idea to listen to my mum and get some fruit. Balanced diet and all of that. I figured if I weighed each piece individually, it would be within our budget. I started with a banana, which came out as 12p. Yes, please. Then an apple, which was 48p, which took us one pence over the budget. So I put that back and I found a slightly smaller apple for 44 pence. I then headed to the checkout, hoping that my maths had added up correctly. And it had, with a total of 97 pence, and 3p to spare. I did then buy some peaches just so I could use the contactless. I'm not gonna eat the peaches of the day of the challenge. I just wanted to avoid judgment from a cashier as the self checkout is card only with a minimum spending of one pound. It was a bit annoying that the total didn't come to exactly a pound because that would have fitted perfectly, but I couldn't find anything that only cost three pence. When I got home, I headed into my garden because I've got a few apple trees and raspberry and blackberry canes. Most of the apples aren't actually fully grown yet. So I've actually got a very wide range of things. I was quite surprised with what I could get for a pound, although it was a difficulty and I think one pound 50 would have made quite a bit of a difference, but I'll show you what I've got. Firstly, bread, that cost me 12p. Then the noodles, I'm gonna be saving these for dinner, I think, and these only cost 29p. Then a banana, which cost 12p, and an apple, which was 44p. Along with all of this, I did also pick some blackberries from my garden, and they were free. And I have a load of condiments. Got some sugar, salt and pepper, some milk, got some salsa dip, and some barbecue dip, though I don't see myself using that. And last but not least, a load of butter. And all of this, was completely free, which is brilliant because that's gonna be the difference between eating plain bread and eating toast. Right, now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm looking at all this stuff here, I think for breakfast, I'm going to have bread and some butter. So I could make fried bread maybe using the butter as oil. I think I'm gonna go for that.
you can tell the bread is rather stale, but obviously if we're cooking it, it doesn't really matter. So my cooking skills really aren't the best. I'm hoping by putting a little bit of salt and pepper on it will taste a bit better. So I've decided to eat this with the banana. It's not that bad to be honest. It's not too bad but it's certainly not a healthy start to the day. I've got my banana though. So if my maths is correct, just the fried bread in total cost me one pence as there were 22 slices for 12p and I used up two slices and obviously the butter and stuff was free. I do wish I picked a um, slightly riper banana but it was the cheapest one there. And that's breakfast all done. A few moments later. So I think my TikTok account's been shadow banned. Um, probably make a video ranting about that at some point because that's fun. But it's lunchtime, so time to make some food. I'm not having a great day. So my plan for lunch is just to keep it simple. I'm just gonna have some toast. There's nothing really to it, it's just toast. Um, I could just have make that all day, really. I only really need the loaf of bread and some butter. But to vary it a little bit, I'm gonna eat the apple now too. I can kind of tell the bread is a lot more stale in kind of this kind of state. Obviously it doesn't really matter that much because it has been cooked. But it doesn't really matter, does it? It's still bread at the end of the day. Now for my 44p apple. I mean, it's an apple, what can I say? There you go, Mum, I had something healthy. After lunch, I was filming another video of my friend Thomas. I was feeling super hungry, probably just from eating four slices of bread and some fruit. I ate the blackberries as a snack, but I forgot to film that, sorry. So now it was time to make dinner. So it's been a little while now since lunch, but I've had my friend Thomas around. We've been doing some work on the bunker. I'll have a video of that coming up soon. So now I'm gonna make these noodles. Chicken flavored, but they're suitable for vegans. Interesting. Removal packaging, place in boiling water, saucepan, Brick noodles, blah blah blah, three minutes. Okay. So I've got my 29p noodles now, all cooked up. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of salt and pepper in there from uh, hashtag not sponsored. That's alright actually, for 29p you're not exactly going to be getting like the best quality of food. But, you know, it's most importantly there's, there's a lot there, so it's going to be rather filling. So I shouldn't be going to bed hungry tonight. I do feel really tired, I think that's mainly because I haven't eaten as much sugars and stuff as I usually would. Or at least, of a, I, I don't know, I'm not a nutritionist. What's it called? Nutrition? Nutritionist. Nu nutritionist. I'm not a nutritionist, but... um. You know, I've managed to do it. I managed to stretch out a pound for three meals, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, I've done it. I've successfully lived a day spending less than a pound. There are a few things I've learned. Firstly, I think I would go for different food items next time. My most expensive item was the apple at 44p. I've realised now that I could have spent that money better getting a wider range of food. I think it'd be interesting to do the challenge in a way that I have to factor in travel costs, or maybe do a two pound over three days kind of challenge. Another thing I've learned is this is definitely not a healthy way to eat. I felt very tired the whole day and very hungry and it does give a lot of perspective to issues in the UK right now. If you'd like to watch a video which the YouTube algorithm has decided you would like then you can click here and if you'd like to watch the video me and Thomas were filming once it's out you can click here.